Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do a reading for Scorpio. This is for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of March 8th through the 14th, okay? So we're just going to see what comes up. Keep in mind, not every reading is for you, and the timing is still fluid. So let's just see what we have for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we have for Scorpio? I think that's it. Community. You may be dating, maybe getting together, um, making new friends, getting out in your community a little bit more, socializing. This may be a week where, you know, you're having fun, getting together. Uh, it looks like it's a happy week. You know, this is, this is uh, celebrating of some sort. So you may be uh, celebrating with friends or dating or something like that. It's, it's definitely a week of um, getting together with other people. So you're probably going to be getting together with other people. Um, having fun, maybe drinking. Um, what else do we have for Scorpio? King of Coins, you could be dealing with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Uh, this is somebody that is very abundant, solid, stable, hardworking. I do believe that you are about to reap some sort of reward. It appears that it's harvest time or something like that. Oh, my thing fell down. Um, look at this. This is like abundance. Look at there's there's money bags here. Okay. There's money bags, it's, there's, there's plenty, okay? So you're going to be having plenty this week. You're going to be reaping some sort of rewards. I feel as though you're going to be really, really happy this week. There's probably something um, that is going to make you really happy. I think it has to do with stability or abundant or something like that. You're probably going to be in your glory. Um, celebrating your hard work or somebody's hard work this is a payoff getting what you deserve somebody's hard work is paying off and I feel whatever's happening you 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 have, are gonna have absolutely plenty this week all right this is having very much plenty you could if you are you know you could be dating somebody that is very very abundant that has a lot to offer you okay you could be receiving an offer from somebody that is financially stable something like that whatever is happening this is abundance um you know, hard work paying off, celebrating and getting together and smiling. You're going to have a smile on your face. You're going to be smiling this week. What do we have for Scorpio? Judgment. So making a judgment call. Now this is a card of reconciliation or past life connection. I'm not sure if that's the case, but it could be. Somebody from the past, you could be reconciling with somebody, because this could be a reconciliation as well from somebody with your pa from your past. Now this could be somebody from a past life. A lot of people get all bent out of shape when a tarot reader says somebody from the past because they don't look beyond the surface. Somebody from the past could be somebody from a past life, and the judgment could judgment card could represent somebody from a past life, but this is a judgment that is being made. Um, I feel like it's a resolution. Okay, there's some sort of resolution that is coming this week. Um, maybe it's a resurrection of something that has ended. Maybe it's starting over again because this is the beginning. I mean, the judgment is a release. It's forgiveness. It is um, being forgiven, accepting and making a life-changing decision. So there is some sort of life-changing decision being made this week. And the judgment card is the end of things. So it's the end of something. It's the end of a trial, okay? Something is happening that is, is gonna bring you happiness or money, you know, happiness and money by the looks of things. Um, Judgment is a card of truth as well. Truths revealed. 
So something very truthful is coming out. And that's being ready to be judged. Are you ready to be judged? And I feel like that's your card because it does represent Scorpio. Somebody may be making a judgment call in regards to you. All right? Or you may be making a judgment call. Um, will you be accepted? Will you be accepted? I do feel like there's acceptance here. I do. So if you're worried about being accepted, don't worry about it. There's definitely some sort of acceptance here. Hermit. So the hermit is reflecting, re-identifying, going within to think about something. Think about a decision. You may need to go within to think about something this week. I feel like you may need time to reflect. And you need to listen to yourself. You're going to need to listen to yourself. You may have some friends around you or some family members or somebody that may be giving you some advice. My advice to you is to listen to yourself. Listen to what you want, okay? Page of Swords reversed. The Fool. Six of Swords and the Moon. So I was going to say, I'm not sure, some of you are dealing with a father, okay? Because that hermit, I think, represents an older man or a father. You could be dealing with a father figure that is hiding something because the hermit is hiding and the moon is hiding. So somebody may be hiding something. I don't know if it's a third party situation. And if it's not a father, it could be you. We could have a third party situation here that is hidden and it could be revealed this week. Somehow you're involved, okay? It could be with anybody, okay? There, there, I feel like there's a third party situation that is going to be revealed this week. Somebody's moving on, they're going someplace, they're leaving. I feel like there's a message that is coming that you don't want to hear with that page of swords reversed. I feel like there's somebody here that has done something foolish. They may have done something without thinking and they may be judged this week, okay? So, I, you know, it's interesting. I feel like there's some sort of judgment that is coming for an individual that um, has been hiding something. They've been hiding their truth. They've been hiding their true feelings, perhaps. And I feel like there's something that is going to be revealed this week. Something, something is about to uh, be shown that has been below the surface. And you're going to need time to reflect on whatever this is. Um, there's a very troublesome situation here. Um, and I think it has to do with money. I do think it has to do with money. I think we have a an issue over money. Um, there, there is somebody here that doesn't have good intentions. And I, there could be an argument or a mild conflict with that page of swords with, an, with somebody over money. Um, either way, there's going to be a judgment call that is made. Somebody's going to be making a, a life-changing decision to go in another direction. This is the life-changing decision. This is moving on. So moving on from a battle. Before the five, before the Six of Swords is the Five of Swords. It's a power struggle. It's a battle. It's a fight. It's a hostile situation. There is somebody here that is, um, I feel like it's an enemy. You know, the Page of Swords in reverse is an enemy. Uh, this is somebody that is very argumentative, that is aggressive, that is a troublemaker. I think that you've got a troublemaker around you that uh, causes problems. I feel like there's an unexpected conflict that is coming this week with an individual that um, is going to uh, really make you think. It's really going to make you think about you know, what you want, whether you want to be a part of this or not. This person could be leaving your life. This person that is argumentative, that plays a lot of mind games, that, you know, maybe you're pushing them away, you know, or they're, or they're deciding to leave. Somebody is leaving the scene, okay? They are leaving the scene. And I feel like they're, they're going their own way. I mean, the hermit is a, a card of solitude, you know? Um, maybe there's some sort of healing that is needed. Anyhow, uh, the moon is an unclear and difficult path ahead. So there is, a, there is an unclear and difficult path ahead. But we have somebody here that is making a decision based on their value. This is somebody that uh, is basing their decision on their value. And they're going in a new direction. 
Um, all is not as it seems with the moon card. You could, I'm not sure if you're dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be dealing with a Virgo. You could be dealing with another Scorpio. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn is very prominent here. I do believe that there is some secret. Somebody hasn't been telling the truth, and the truth is definitely going to come out this week. And it does have, I feel like it has to do with a third party situation. Um, somebody may want a reunion or a reconciliation with somebody from their past, and they have been unable to be honest with themselves or speak their truth. But I feel like they're going to be taking a risk this week. They're going to be, uh, you know, taking a risk and going in that new direction. So I do see movement this week. It's like stepping into that unknown territory and facing fear. So I feel like... Uh, if you so if you have been alone say you've been alone i know this won't resonate with everybody i if you have been alone things are going to go in the opposite direction you you probably won't be alone much longer if you are you know in a situation with another person and it's been troublesome you know things could change and you could some of you could become become single i mean that hermit is a very it's a card of solitude it's isolation um, everything changes. Everything does change. And the Fool card is about starting a journey, starting a new chapter, you know, leaving everything behind. So somebody is going to be starting from scratch and leaving everything behind. Um, and, they, it, and I feel like it's, it's a decision that is, is based on the truth, based on the facts after somebody has been hiding the truth. The truth is revealed, okay? The truth is revealed or the, call, the judgment call is being made. It's, the truth is seen very clearly after there's been some sort of confusion or illusion. Somebody has become enlightened. Maybe they've been, been become enlightened because of solitude or because of a third party. Maybe they got themselves involved with an illusion it was a third party and karma has been served because judgment is a card of karma. So anyhow, I do believe that there is some sort of uh, karmic situation that is coming to an end this week. Um, I feel as though you're moving in a new direction towards peace and harmony and serenity. Somebody is probably, you're leaving somebody behind or they're leaving you behind or the whole situation. I feel like there's a departure here. There is some sort of departure. I feel like there's going to be a conflict, an unexpected conflict, um, which allows you to break free of something because the Fool card is freedom. You're free. You're free. You're free. You know, you're free of this situation. Um, I think that you need to beware with the Moon card. Beware. Make sure you think about the decisions that you make this week. Um, all is not as it seems. You could be dealing with somebody that, you know, is very social. This person is, is, is dating. They're very, very social or something. That seven, that seven, that I was going to say, the community card up there reminds me of the three of cups. That's a very social energy. So, you know, I feel like you, you, you're you going to have to make a, a decision based on the truth, based on the facts, based on what you see. I feel like you have a lot of wisdom and you're gaining wisdom. You're gaining a lot of life experience at this time. Um, you're also dealing with somebody that is hiding something. And that is a message that you really need to listen to. You know, you need to be aware of. Be aware that somebody is hiding something, okay? And maybe that truth comes out this week. Maybe you really, really become aware that somebody is hiding something and you just decide to move on, okay? Um, somebody's moving on, okay, with that Six of Swords. It's like they're going to a better place. And the decision is being made this week. It's, it's the decision is absolutely being made. They're just ready to leave it all behind, this is replacing fear with faith, okay, with that fool card. It's stepping into unknown territory. So I feel like this is a week of new beginnings for you. I do with the fool card. That is, a, that is a new beginning that is going to make you extremely happy. But I do believe that this is also the end of things with the judgment card. It is the end of something. Somebody tried something. You know, think of a trial. It's, they tried. They tried something. It, now it's time. And now they realize that there's no, it's not real. You know, it was just an illusion. It's over. It's time to move on. It's, it is. So anyhow, I feel like this is a week of 
um, basking in some sort of glory and maybe you're basking in glory over a departure or some sort of new beginning that has been offered to you. you this is definitely a happy week. Um, don't be scared. Don't be scared for any reason. There's no reason to be scared. Um, I do I do believe that, that, that uh, all is not as it seems. There's hidden forces here that are uh, driving somebody in a new direction. There are definitely hidden forces here, okay? Um, with that moon card. I feel like you're, you're gonna, it's almost like your identity is changing. There's a, like a change of identity here. Going within to heal after a deceptive situation as well. I feel like you've been deceived. I feel like you've been deceived by somebody, you know, maybe this person cheated, you know. I, there's definitely a third party situation here, no doubt about it. Maybe they were socializing, you know, on social media, you know, you know, messenger, something like that. You know, this is somebody who is, um, you know, arrogant. I just I got to be honest. We have somebody here that is very arrogant. It's, ha I got all this money. I got all this. I can do whatever I want. You know, I, I feel like this person, somebody could be getting caught. They could be getting caught, could cause a conflict, cause, you know, somebody to leave that could be the case and there could be a reconciliation as well so it's very interesting um somebody has become enlightened they have or they're becoming enlightened they're becoming awakened this is a wake-up call of some sort it really is Somebody's about to get a wake-up call or they're about to get an epiphany about who they truly are After they've been in some sort of a not denial and I feel like whoever this person is that has been in a denial Has been masking the truth with addictions, you know That's why they weren't able to see the truth because they were masking those, you know, whatever it was with addictions the lies the page of swords reversed with addictions Anyway, I do see somebody leaving, Some, but that Six of Swords, that is leaving the hostile situation behind, starting from scratch, okay? I'm not sure if you're dealing, whoever you're dealing with is very, very experienced. They have a lot of life experience, and, you know, they've thought about it a lot. Maybe that's you. Anyway, I do see, I do see you celebrating, and, but I feel like you're celebrating a departure, you know, and sometimes, you know, it's happy news when somebody gets the hell out. You know, sometimes that's like, whew, thank you, Lord, you know. Um, anyway, we do have somebody that has gone through a spiritual awakening as well. Um, they've gone through a period of enlightenment. And they're definitely headed to a better place. You know, they're, they're leaving everything behind and starting from scratch. And this is this is beautiful. It really is. And there's abundance here. A lot of abundance. So you're going to, it feels like you're going to be receiving a lot of abundance. Whether it's money or security or stability or whatever it is. You're going to be in your glory. You're going to be in your glory over this news that arrives. But it feels like this news comes after a conflict. Somebody you are dealing with, whether it's you or another person, is making a decision, okay? This is a life-changing decision. They have gone through some sort of awakening, okay? They've become aware after they have been in a state of illusion. They have become aware of what, they, what will make them happy. And they're going towards happiness. And happiness is here. You have a new beginning. Somebody has a new beginning. This is starting a new journey. It's starting from scratch. It's starting over. Leaving it all behind. This is exciting. It is. That fool card is exciting. This is an exciting opportunity to start from scratch.
so anyway I feel I feel like this is going to be a week that uh, you receive some sort of I don't know maybe it's an epiphany it could be an epiphany whatever it is you're good it's you this is happy I'm happy this is I'm happy this is over good luck